All right, guys, Goodboy32 here. Check it out. So this is part two of our Everyday Joe build. Now, what's the purpose of an Everyday Joe build? Well, what I wanted to do was put together a rifle that anyone can do. Uh, we're not talking about real expensive parts, but we're going back to the basics of where we started the channel on those affordable parts. Uh, in contrast, I mean, right here, I have, this is the Geisley. This is the uh, Mark 8. 15 inch rail. Now this is going to go on another build. Now is everybody in the entire free world going to go out and buy a $350, $400 rail for the rifles? No, but what they can do is they can do one of these. This is a UTG Pro. This is their Model 415 Super Slim Free Float Rail System and M-Lock made in the USA. If you look at that right there. So I just want to preface this whole thing is that I went out and I purchased all this stuff with my very own money. Yes, money that was mine. Mine before it became, well, let's see, who did I buy this from? I got this from the guys over there at Big Daddy Unlimited. Pretty much almost everything came from Big Daddy Unlimited, with exception of a couple things that came from Optics Planet. So anyway, uh, what I wanted to do was sit down and go through this. God almighty, would you shut up and get to work here. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and open it up. We'll talk about the what is in the box. Now, I am, I've been a pretty good fan of UTG products just because... Well, they make pretty decent stuff for the money. And with this one, and I've, I, let's see, I've, I think this is my first free float other than the quad rails. I'm a big fan of the quad rails. Uh, i got a couple of them laying right here. As a matter of fact, we've got another build that we're going to be doing here in probably another week that is going to have a drop-in uh, quad rail. It's going to be one of the coolest builds ever. It's one of the simplest things. And I can't tell you, I am so excited about it. Well, anyway, moving on with this guy, this is the Every J Joe build. So one of the things we'll take a look at is you have your barrel nut. Here is a, looks like a countersink, applied barrel nut wrench to the center slot for installation. Do not use wrench on the lower slot, refer to manual or on barrel nut tightening. Okay, so there. All right, what else do we have? We've got some... A wrench right here I tell you what, one of the things I do like is when they have a barrel nut that you just got to use a crescent wrench or something on but take a look at that there you go UTG let's see what else we got in here uh -oh. we have a set of instructions right there I'm gonna get those away and then ah you know what's cool I'll tell you what's really cool is it does come with a pick rail section on it right here and they are aluminum and a QD mount right there. Uh, we do have some shims. Hopefully we don't have to do that because I had somebody ask me if I shimmed the uh, the barrel. No, because usually what I do is I use 609. Uh, but these right here are for the barrel nut. We got another Allen wrench right there, and that's it. Let's talk about the rail itself. First of all, let's take a real good look at it. Uh, I will tell you this, this thing is light as it gets and one of the deals that I'm really interested in seeing is that you do have enough barrel nut up in there so it's gonna be about that far one of the things that I'm worried about is movement in between well let's say this guy the receiver and the barrel itself because one of the things I don't want to have is a whole lot of flex I don't want to have a whole lot of movement and by the time I put my gas block in there okay and this is one of the reasons why if i'm going to go a low profile i don't even worry about adjustable gas 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 blocks on these guys i'm going to go with this yankee hill product and because it gives me a lot of room in there you can see that right there okay so let's again let's do the flyby here we go let her get in focus there we go hopefully that's all you guys the grooves we've got some texturing right there uh these are uh key mod no what is it? these are m locks so you've got m locks one two three four five six seven sets of m locks all the way down so we got one two three four five six seven eight 56 m lock slices in there that you can put stuff on continuous rail all the way across and it's t-mart overall i'm very very impressed let's see what a barrel nut by itself with this rail weighs. Now, I've, I've had the UTG, their uh, 
quad rail. I've run them on a couple of them. They're 12 inches long, and they were like 12 ounces. And this guy right here is 12.5 ounces. Not bad. In comparison with the big old Mark 8 here, 14.7 ounces. Now, is it fair to compare these two? Probably not. Uh, this one's got a lot more beef to it than this guy. Uh, I believe the aluminum, if you can see right there, looks a lot thicker. But again, this is for the everyday Joe. Now, uh, one of the things I will do is at the end of the day, we'll go ahead and show you the entire rifle build and show you what this thing looks like, how the rifle barrel is positioned in here with the low profile gas block, and we'll put it all together. But anyway, this is my first impressions of the UTG Pro made in the USA. I think the money ends up in China. Hopefully they're over there trying to uh, figure out how to cure this damn mess we're in. And uh, that's it. All right, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this. I just wanted to do a real quick video. I thought this was really cool. Uh, next up, we're going to be doing the barrel. And once we do that, I'll go ahead and put the rifle together as a whole. And then we'll do a full-blown review on the rifle. And hopefully get out to the range here very soon and shoot the thing. And then uh, we'll see how accurate it is. I'm not really worried about pinpoint accuracy, but what I am worried about is can I put an optic on this thing and take it out to three, four, five hundred yards. It's Kota Boy 32 If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. We do have the Patreon thing. There is a link down below. Uh, we always end it like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 who fight for our freedom as it was written by our founding fathers. 24-7 for our freedom is not free. I'm digging it. Not a bad looking rail. I think these things retail for about a hundred bucks, plus or minus ten or fifteen. Let's go to boy thirty-two.